Good morning, folks. Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. Well, we started yesterday with a seven-day challenge to live your life the way Jesus lived his, or if you were walking with him to do exactly what he did. Now, I don't know about you, but if you took on this seven-day challenge, you probably were challenged yesterday. I want to tell you from me, I was challenged right out of the gate yesterday. Lord, what was I thinking? I'm telling you, I had things come at me yesterday, which we're now looking back on those yesterday were kind of amazing because about midway through, or actually early, about a quarter way through, I suddenly realized what was happening, that my words were being challenged by my action. Well, it was a challenge in time, to be honest about it. Not only yesterday morning, but through the day yesterday, and even in my sleep last night. I mean, boy, was I not challenged time and time again. Well, even this morning, this is our sixth day now. Even this morning, started again early this morning. Now, that's very good confirmation that we're attempting to do what God has called us to do. Now, it's challenging. It's difficult because when you and I live our lives doing what we want and we think we're doing what God wants us to do, but suddenly become aware, would God really do this? Did Jesus really live this way? Then suddenly we're challenged by the decisions we make, which is a good thing, by the way. Now, the Bible says in Romans 15, uh, chapter 15, verse 1, We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Now, this is a verse. If I had the power, which I don't, which I'm not going to, but if I had the power to take a verse out of the scripture, I'd take this one out. But I don't have the power to do it because it's a verse that tells us that I don't have the right, you don't have the right to get aggravated and share our aggravation. Now, we, we can get aggravated. Ephesians 4.26 says, be angry and sin not. But this verse prohibits me from sharing my aggravation because I'm supposed to do what Jesus would do. Let me give it to you again. Romans 15, 1. We then that are strong, that word strong is fixed or established. So are you fixed or established in your faith? That's a question. Are you fixed or established? We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. We ought to bear the sins, the shortcomings, the problems of those that are weaker than we, not weak in frailty, but we can spirit, we can foundation. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. That means that you and I must be tolerant. Well, tolerance is not a bad word if you're using it in the right sense. It's bad if you tolerate sin. You should not do that. You should stand against sin because the Lord Jesus did. And we should stand on the principles of the word of God. But when you start making efforts to use every decision every word, every direction, the way Jesus did, everything you watch, everywhere you go, you suddenly become overwhelmed in your mind with the amazement of perhaps how you're doing things versus how God would do things through Jesus Christ. So today is number six. Six days to go. How are you doing in the first day? Boy, I tell you, I got, I got challenged now. Thank God, thank God Almighty that I uh, responded biblically, but boy, and even this morning, I mean, even this morning started again, and I'm right now responding biblically, but wow, what a challenge it is. So I want to encourage you to think about that Romans 15 one. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. So do as Jesus did, walk as Jesus walked, Live as Jesus lived, and, well, God will bless you for it. Now, you take care of yourself, and I'll get back with you before too long, and we'll see how you're doing, okay? God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.